I need to go into the United States and play high school ball. Right on cue with the steal. Barrett goes up and throws it down. R.J. Barrett Jr. is a Canadian professional basketball player who plays for the New York Knicks in the NBA. He was selected third overall in the 2019 NBA draft. He's a beloved player across the globe and especially in New York. As you can imagine, he has amassed quite a wealth during his basketball career and has quite the net worth. In today's video, we're going to discuss everything about R.J. Barrett, including his net worth, lifestyle, and how he and his family spend his millions. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. Early Life and Career Barrett was born in Toronto, Ontario to Kesha Duhaney and Rowan Barrett, a former pro basketball player. He took an interest in basketball early in his youth and used to play with a mini hoop in his playroom in France, where his father was a professional basketball player at the time. Barrett went to a French school while in France, but his mother taught him English due to his father's career, he lived in a lot of countries and shot around after games and practices. Barrett also played basketball with kids his age in the clubs where his father was a member. When his father retired from professional basketball in 2008, his family relocated to Mississauga, Ontario. He also competed in football, 100-meter running, and the high jump as a kid. Barrett began focusing on basketball instead of football at the age of 12. After struggling in a basketball game and crying at home, he did this to avoid missing tournaments. He informed his father at that age that he aspired to be an NBA All-Star and inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame. He used to train with Steve Nash, his godfather and a friend of his father's. Barrett started high school at St. Marcellinus Secondary School in Mississauga, where he also played for the Reda's Brampton Warriors AAU squad. Despite only being in his first year, Canadian recruiting website North Pole Hoops branded him exceptional after his 27-point performance for St. Marcellinus Secondary school versus Bill Crothers Secondary School on October 9, 2014. While in college, he excelled in his basketball skills and abilities, and continued to score huge wins for his teams. He had moved to play with the Montverde Academy, claiming how he missed playing at St. Marcellinus Secondary School. Barrett was named the top Canadian talent in the 2019 class while attending St. Marcellinus Secondary School. Barrett was a five-star recruit and the number one overall prospect in the 2018 recruiting class. Barrett limited his list to five institutions on August 16, 2017. Duke, Arizona, Oregon, Kentucky, and Michigan. He declared his decision to attend Duke for the 2018-2019 season on November 10, 2017. In response to his choice, he stated, It feels like home, and obviously they have a great coach. I love Coach K. I've been watching Duke since I was really young. Barrett's college career thrived just like his secondary schooling. Barrett was selected third overall in the 2019 NBA draft by the New York Knicks on June 20th, 2019. Barrett officially signed with the Knicks on July 3rd. Barrett made his NBA debut on October 23rd, starting and scoring 21 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, and 2 steals in a 111-120 loss against the San Antonio Spurs. Barrett set a career high with 27 points and 6 rebounds on December 17th. Barrett's third-year option was exercised on December 21st, 2020 according to the Knicks. Barrett had 28 points, 5 assists, and 2 rebounds in a 119-104 win over the Golden State Warriors on January 21st. Barrett set a career high with 32 points, 5 rebounds, and 3 assists in a 97-119 win over the Oklahoma City Thunder on March 13th. Barrett averaged 14.3 points, 5 rebounds, and 2.6 assists per game last season, which is actually fairly impressive. However, a closer examination reveals the Canadian winger only shot 40.2 percentage from the field and 32.0 percent from three for a real shooting percentage of 47.9 percent. Barrett's advanced metrics also revealed that he was a big on-court negative as a member of the Knicks rotation with a negative 2.9 OBM or offensive box plus minus and a negative 1.5 DBPM defensive box plus minus. Net worth. R.J. Barrett earns a whopping salary of $8 million 
$231,760 on average. This wealth only continues to rise, as does his basketball career. He'll earn 4.99% more in the 2020 to 2021 season than he will in the 2019 to 2020 season this year. He's the 148th highest paid NBA player. Last season, he was the 155th highest paid NBA player. This year, he's the 67th highest paid guard in the league. Last year, he was the 73rd highest paid guard in the league. This year, he's the New York Knicks second highest paid player. Last season, he was the Knicks' seventh highest paid player. Lifestyle. As we mentioned earlier, Barrett and his family grew up in France. RJ Barrett spent much of his youth abroad. His dad, Rowan, was a professional basketball player in France. The family moved to Canada after Rowan's playing career ended in 2008. When we started having children, we wanted to settle in one country, get a language and some normality, and we decided on France, Rowan told Slam. We were in a town called Dijon, another called Chalon, and another Lyon in southern France. It was a soccer country, so RJ played both soccer and basketball and ran a little track, but his passion was always basketball. Girlfriend RJ Barrett spends time with his beautiful girlfriend Haley Brown, a 6'1 junior on the University of Michigan women's basketball team, class of 2021, when he's not on the court or in the gym. Similarly, the 20-year-old forward hails from Canada. Brown started all 34 games for Michigan in her sophomore year, averaging 7.8 points, 4.0 rebounds, and 23.4 minutes per game. For contributions that do not display on the box score but are invaluable to the team, she received an Unsung Hero Award. The pair are still together today and post with each other often on their social media platforms. They are also both thriving in their basketball careers and both at such young ages. Very impressive. Speaks fluent French. Barrett speaks French fluently thanks to his father's stay in France and his attendance at a French-speaking school. The young prospect claims he's rusty, but he impressed himself by answering a question in French during his Knicks introduction news conference. Wasn't it nice, says the speaker. Barrett burst out laughing after a brilliant response. Close friends with Zion Williamson. The pair's friendship blossomed during their freshman year at Duke, when they became the first freshman in NCAA history to average 20 points per game. They were pals in high school and shared a dorm room at Duke, where they effortlessly shrugged off media attention to flourish for the Blue Devils. Coach Mike Krasuski stated the two had become brothers as a result of their closeness, what he spends his millions on. According to Kristen Fleming of the New York Post, New York Knicks rookie guard RJ Barrett has donated $250,000 to fight the global health situation, which included sending facial masks, disposable face masks, KN95 masks, gowns, and microporous disposable coveralls to New York hospitals. Barrett says he was moved to help after witnessing the sacrifices made by healthcare workers throughout the outbreak. I have been following social media and watching the news, seeing how things have been getting drastically worse. What really struck me is all of the workers in the hospital. These people are risking their lives, and they go home and stay in the same house as their family and kids. I wanted to see what I could do to help. My mom grew up in Brooklyn. My family's there, and it hit me a little extra hard. We need to protect those workers as much as they are protecting us. Barrett teamed up with Puma to donate a thousand pairs of sneakers and slippers to hospitals in New York and Canada as part of those efforts. He also gave $100,000 to a food pantry in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. Barrett told Fleming, I just spoke with them and they indicated the donation would be able to deliver 200,000 meals and it put a smile on my face. Finally, he donated $25,000 to the MSG Relief Fund to assist Madison Square Garden employees. I love playing at Madison Square Garden. I'm cool with the security guards, everyone that works at MSG. They take care of me so much, Barrett said. I thought about all they do for us. They're such amazing people. The Knicks' 19-year-old rookie was having a strong debut season, averaging 14.3 points, 5 rebounds, and 2.6 assists, while shooting 40.2% from the field and 32% from three. While he wasn't a front-runner for Rookie of the Year, that honor is expected to go to Memphis point guard John Morant. He has shown promise in his rookie season, despite the NBA's suspension due to the global health situation. He has maintained contact with his teammates. I speak to my teammates and we tried to check in, he said, especially with the New York staff. Everyone seems to be doing okay and trying to see how we can help. We all really miss playing basketball. Tattoos RJ Barrett had a pair of crowns tattooed on his wrists when he entered the league. Barrett collaborated with Indochino to develop a sports jacket with a series of crowns, modeled after the tattoos he has on both of his wrists, according to Kristen Fleming of the New York Post. And there you have it, 
R.J. Barrett and his early life, career, net worth, lifestyle, and how he spends his millions. R.J. is only 20 years old at the moment, so we only imagine he has some more huge purchases coming in the next few years. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss any of our new and upcoming content. Thanks for watching.